Hello, hello everyone. Blah, blah, blah. Hello, hello everyone. There we go. <laughs> to the final commander, final human spell shaper from the prophecy set in Magic the Gathering for my commander review uh, playlist. And today we're talking about one of the most popular spell shapers in the entire game. It is uh, Magida the Lion. Now, I don't know if people pronounce it Magida, like Vegeta in Dragon Ball Z, or if they pronounce it Magida. I'm going to say Magida. Magida the Lion is a 3 3 human spell shaper. It costs 5, gener or five mana, 3 generic, and 2 white mana. And then, like all the spell shapers, it has an expensive but usually powerful activated ability for 2 colorless, 2 white tap and discard two cards from your hand destroy all I'm gonna read the correct errated text destroy all creatures except for Magida the lion those creatures can't be regenerated essentially for four mana tap discard two cards you have a repeatable wrath of God on a commander which is very very powerful and has been very very utilized in a lot of different decks and it, since it's so simple and so powerful, it doesn't even need card rulings, which is crazy. Um, Resurrection is the card I chose for this commander. Um, there is, surprisingly, a good amount of recursion cards in uh, Mono White, and we will be taking advantage of that in one of the deck ideas. But this is a way that you can activate um, Megiddo, and then if you have enough mana for it, you can return something of yours back into play. Uh, the deck idea that I am going to have Megiddo as the commander for is a very popular one. It is Super Friends, it is Planeswalkers. Uh, it does not board wipe Planeswalkers with its ability. It just board wipes creatures, so you can constantly keep growing your Super Friends and eventually outvalue your opponents. And then of course the popular deck idea on EDH Rec is um, taking advantage of those board wipes essentially and just constantly recurring things into play. This kind of falls under the discard strategy as well because we're going to be discarding cards to activate the ability and then we can play these cards later in the game to cheat big massive mono white creatures into play and do some crazy damage. Things like Zetalpa you could cheat into play with one of these recursion spells and the best part about Zetalpa is it's got indestructible so then when you activate Megiddo again um, Zetalpa is going to stay in play and you're going to keep doing a lot of things like damage. And then lastly is um, focusing on protecting your board and so filling your deck with creatures or ways that give your creatures indestructible so that way even when you activate Magida's ability you will always have a board of creatures in play and your opponents will always not have a board of creatures in play um, which is very fun and very oppressive. Um, so like I said earlier very repressive it is repeatable uh, Wrath of God, repeatable board wipe, very powerful. The problem with this is this is without a doubt, I, having made this video, in an earlier video I said Jolriol is probably one of the most targeted uh, commanders because of the shenanigans you can do with your opponent's lands. I take it all back. <laughs> Megiddo, because your opponents can never have creatures in play, regardless, um, makes this the most targeted of all five of these commanders. So be prepared to either play this commander a lot or preferably have protections for your commander uh, because you will need it. This this one will definitely get targeted of, of the five. This one for sure. Like I don't even know why I said Jolriel would be number one. It's clearly number two by a landslide. This is the board wipe commander. It must get removed by your opponents. So be prepared to protect it. Be prepared to do some silly shenanigans with it and have a lot of fun with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything I missed. And uh, when we come back, we'll do the set review for the Prophecy set. And uh, 
we'll keep going from there so we're making a lot of progress and i'm very excited to keep making these videos for you guys so as always i'll see you in the next one bye